Hi there, I'm Diane Southard, your DNA guide. And I thought today we would tackle a question that I get asked all the time. It's why don't my Y DNA matches share my surname? So there's actually a lot of explanations for this, but honestly, the number one explanation is that they aren't actually related to you. I know. So you have these matches on your DNA match list that actually aren't worth your time at all because they don't connect to you within a reasonable number of generations. But how will you know and how do you investigate it? What kinds of next steps could you take? Well, I have two tips for you. First of all, if you see a match that does not share your surname, one of the best things you can do is upgrade to a higher level of testing. Either you can or your match can, or ideally both of you can. So right now at Family Tree DNA, where you can take this Y-DNA test, there are three main levels of testing that they're offering to you. They're offering to test 37 locations on your Y chromosome, 111 locations on the Y chromosome, or something we call the big Y 700. So I like to think of each of these tests like a window in your house. It is defining the window of relationship, meaning how big is that range from which you can choose how you're connected. So if you test at the 37 marker level, I like to think of it like that big bay front window in your house, and you can see like the whole neighborhood. So when you test at 37 markers, you're often going to get this wide range of possible relationships. If you upgrade or test at 111 markers, then that big bay window shrinks down to a much more manageable size. Like, let's say it's just your bedroom window. So you can still have a decent view, but the window is much smaller, meaning when you're looking for how you're connected to each other, you're looking at a much shorter time frame. And if we keep going with this analogy, if you test at the big Y level, now we're looking at like that small little porthole in your bathroom where there's a very small window of relationship, meaning it's much easier to determine how you're connected to someone else because there aren't very many options. Okay, so upgrading often makes these matches with no surname fall off our radar because they aren't matching us at these higher levels, which again means that they weren't actually related to you in the first place. Another thing I recommend when you don't see when you see matches that don't share your surname is to join a family project at family tree dna so what joining a project does is it gives you a wider exposure to other people who have tested with your surname to show you that even people who do share your surname don't always match you and there are a lot of resources usually offered by these project administrators and they're great at answering questions to help you figure out kind of where you're at and why you might be matching or not matching the people that you think you should. Now, there is a chance that this Y-DNA test with its people that don't match your surname is actually trying to tell you something about your family tree and about your connections to other people. It's possible that there is a disconnect between your genetics and your genealogy. So when should you be concerned that you have matches who don't share your surname? Number one, someone else in your family has taken a Y-DNA test and you don't match them. That's a red flag. Two, if you and your match, this person who doesn't share your surname, match closely on the family finder test. This is the autosomal DNA test at Family Tree DNA. If you're showing up as a close match, this indicates you do share a recent common ancestor and you should definitely investigate your relationship. But again, essentially, if you don't have a shared surname, you should choose to either upgrade or to join a project. But remember, most of the time, you don't share that surname because you're not related. And so you can just relax and not worry about investigating your connection to that particular match. If you would like more help with your Y DNA, we here at Your DNA Guide are all about helping you understand and use those DNA test results that you've purchased. We have a course dedicated just to helping you better understand your Y DNA test results and pointing out how to do better genealogy based on those DNA test results. So we'd love for you to check that out. 
And in the meantime, you can grab this free download. This is all about how to contact your matches, which is an essential part of genetic genealogy to reach out and connect and communicate with our matches. So we want to help you do that better. So go ahead and grab this free download and we'll see you next time here on our YouTube channel. So if you'd like to get more DNA tips, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss anything that we put out and you can do the DNA.